is caused by excess production of sebum, which then results in clogging up uh, hair follicles, which are pores, that result in blockage with dead skin cells, bacteria, and then leading to inflammation. Acne is a genetically predisposed condition. Uh, in saying that, however, 70% of uh, population experiences acne at some stage, so it's more common than not. Um, but you do see uh, often acne is um, passed on in families. So acne varies in severity and also in t subtype. So ideally you should be seeing your skincare uh, professional or healthcare provider in order to seek specific advice relevant to you. In general though, for acne, if it's mild enough, you can manage with some over-the-counter products. And so using an, a cleanser regularly, as well as some over-the-counter creams can help reduce um, signs of acne. You can get acne at any age, there's lots of different causes. Hormonal acne triggered by increasing testosterone is the commonest cause and that's why we tend to see it in young people around the time of puberty. But you can get acne as a 30 year old, you can get acne due to pregnancy, certain medications and certain other skin conditions. Makeup itself does not cause acne. However, block pores from comedogenic makeup can actually flare up acne. It's complicated. A chocolate contains dairy and there is low level evidence that dairy can actually flare up acne. So blackheads are a type of acne um, subtype and therefore cleansing regularly to prevent a blocked pores, as well as exfoliating, both with chemical as well as me mechanical means. Unfortunately, if you're predisposed to acne, you can't necessarily prevent yourself from getting acne. However, seeking treatment early and getting on appropriate treatment for your subtype, as well as your severity of acne, can reduce long-term effects of acne. Everyone's skin is unique, and I always recommend seeing your GP as your first port of call, and then getting a referral to a dermatologist if needed um, to seek specific advice for your skin condition.